Uh, let's go to one last question I had for you was about a, uh, a letter recently sent out to police chiefs by the head of the Police Executive Research Forum, Chuck Wexler, calling on police chiefs to publicly stand up and support a ban on assault rifles, which he said chiefs had done in the 1990s, the last time one of these bans was imposed. What's your take on this? Should police chiefs get involved? Do you think they will? And uh, do you think that banning a AR-15s would have a significant impact? Well, you know, every city is going to have their own set of uh, political points. In, in, in from my position as chief, as 11-year chief, it would, it would be great from a law enforcement perspective if, if assault rifles were just gone. But you have to be a little bit realistic. They're out there, and you have to try to adjust to whatever the terrain of the laws are and what the political feel is for your particular city. Obviously, assault rifles can be very problematic to a community by way of uh, mass shootings, we see that quite a bit. And it's also a very formidable weapon those officers will encounter when they respond to those mass shootings. So what is the political spectrum of the city? What direction do they want to go? And the one thing that I always say is, Chief, when you, talk, when you want to look at gun laws, um, don't expect immediate success or immediate failure. Take a look at where you want to be 10 years down the road because there's so many guns on the street now that law probably won't really sink in until about a decade away anyways. So that's kind of my thoughts on it. Personally, you know, uh, you know, the assault rifle piece is a challenge for my law enforcement officers to deal with. So in that, in that facet, I'm against.